Hey guys, welcome back to Law Sports. It's Tyler coming at you with the Notre Dame Boston College preview. Irish host the Eagles on Saturday for senior night. All right, Boston College, 5-5. Five and five. If you looked at them at the surface, you wouldn't be too impressed. They're coming in off of a bye week, though. They're going to be ready to play. Don't let their record fool you. This is a pretty good team. They thumped Virginia Tech early in the season. They've also had some other good showings. They've also lost to Kansas by a significant amount. You just don't know which team is going to show up week to week. But historically, Irish fans well know good teams, very good Notre Dame teams, have had their seasons ruined or almost ruined by this pesky Boston College team. See 1993, uh, if you need an example. BC is going to be consistent. They're one of those teams that they don't beat themselves. They want to run the football. They want to play physical. And they hate us. Boston College fans will tell you, and I don't know too many BC fans, but I think deep down they will admit that we are probably one of their premier rivals. You know, they're a Catholic institution just like we are. You know, there's kind of some history. We've played them an awful lot throughout the years. So there's a little bit of hatred toward each other and uh, some animosity there. They also need this win. They're sitting at five wins. They want to get to a bowl game, send their seniors out with one more hurrah. And their coach, Coach Adazio, he's been there for a while. He has not passed seven wins in his tenure. His seat's getting a little bit hot. Now, Boston College is not one of those programs that's expecting to be competing for national championships, but I think their fan base is kind of tired of him stalling out at the seven-win mark every year. I think they want to see him try to past that and maybe if he can't reach reach surpass that summit that he's been stuck on maybe they start looking for a new coach so there's some urgency for coach Adazio and this BC team a lot to play for on Saturday in South Bend so my keys to the game on Saturday number one just like Navy let's jump on them early we can we see from last Saturday when you get after a team in the first quarter in the first half you can break their will this is college football these are 19-year-old kids. They're coming out every Saturday, no matter what the records are, and they're going out there to try to showcase themselves to try to get a win. A team can be 0-11 or 11-0. These are college kids. They're excited to play for the most part. They're looking forward to getting out there and hitting somebody other than their buddies in practice. So if you jump on them early, it's going to break their will, and they'll start feeling it by halftime, and then they'll say, well, you know what, these guys are just better than us, and then that adrenaline kind of dies down and you're able to take control, just like the Navy game, just like the Duke game the last two weeks. Key number two, make them throw. Boston College wants to run the football. They're not a team that likes to sling it all over the yard. They want to play in a phone booth. You know, they're going to want to throw the ball a little bit, but ideally they want to stay ahead of the chains, limit second and third and long, run the football, shorten the game. That way the longer the game draws out, they know there are more chance our athletes are going to take over. So they want to play a game, a, com a compacted game, slim down, shortened game, all that. And then lastly, which book are we going to be reading this week? Are we going to get the Comedy of Airs book that we've seen in the past? Are we going to get the horror story that was the Michigan game where he can't complete wide open passes? Or are we going to get the Marvel Superman edition that we got last week? Book played his best game last week. Now, yes, I know it was Navy, but it was still a pretty respectable Navy team. But he hit his guys. He had a nice deep ball in the first half. He had some good passes. He threw the ball up high enough for Claypool to go get. If the throws weren't behind him or out of bounds to where he couldn't make a play, just give these guys a chance, and these receivers will catch the ball. I really liked our passing attack last week, and Book played his most complete game of the year that wasn't against New Mexico or Bowling Green. So which Ian Book is going to show up on Saturday? My prediction for the game is... I think Notre Dame is going to come out amped up early on. It's senior day. We want to send our seniors out with a win. I think this game has the potential to be close just because it's Boston College, and traditionally these games are usually battles back and forth. But ultimately, I see the Irish pulling away. I think that talent is just too much of a gap for BC to hang for four quarters. This might be close going into the fourth, but I think Notre Dame will get a couple touchdowns late, put this one away, send our seniors out of South Bend with another victory. Thank you guys for playing the last four or five years for our program and continuing to work hard on and off the field representing the University of Notre Dame. My prediction is 37 to 16 Irish on top. 
Thank you guys so much. This is Tyler with Loft Sports signing off. Go Irish.